guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today it is a lush haul, but not just any lush haul. It is a lush kitchen haul for the month of November. And may I just say, this box has a much better theme. Lush Kitchen North America just began this previous fall. So I think it was September, October, November. I missed out on the Septembers. I did, however, pick up and start doing the monthly um, subscription box. Basically, you don't have to do it every month. I have chosen to do that because you guys know how much I love Lush. You basically get a box full of goodies that is a bit of a surprise, but you also have the chance of placing some votes throughout the month to kind of vote on what you would like to sort of see. You won't know exactly what you're going to get. And just because you voted for something does not necessarily mean that that's going to be the item that comes in the box. But generally speaking, you get between five and six different items each month. This is a far better selection than the box that came in for the month of October. October's, which you think would be Halloween and, you know, scary, woo, you know, but there's a lot of floral in it. Who does floral for October? Anyway, I'm happy to announce that there, this box was designed for me, for moi, because everything in it I absolutely love. Some of the items are exclusive. You cannot get it in the store. So let's just crack into this box. So we also get a little slip here to tell us what all the items are in here. The sad thing is, is I don't actually put down the Sentinel descriptions. I wish they would because it would be really nice, but I can at least tell you the names of them. Let's start off with a bath bomb. This one here is called the Fireball and oh my gosh, you guys, if you know me, you know, I love spicy like rich wintry kind of smells oh my goodness this is a beautiful bath bomb it's quite a large one too there are multiple colors so generally with lush bath bombs the based on the weight of this is probably going to go onto its side and then dissolve that way and as you guys can see there are different colors so orange and yellow there's a little bit of red as well so it's likely that as this melts into your nice warm bath water it's going to make a really cool ring of color and this smells delicious there is a little cinnamon in it there's definitely like all these wintry notes that i absolutely love and i adore this kind of scent oh again i cannot wait to move into our house again so i can have a bath and use this because this is Perfect. So on top of the five pieces that you do get that you know you're going to get, there's always a little something something added into the box. And this time there were stickers. So there are these stickers here that you can put wherever. Of course, I got the lush one and all sorts of fun little stickers. Very fall autumnal themed. There's a lot of leaves and things like that. Cozy slocks, socks, socks and slippers. <laughs> but anyway, these are kind of fun. I don't really know what I'm going to do with them. I don't really deal with stickers. I don't have kids or anything like that. So next up, we have a very cool product of which I actually am currently using a shower gel because this does come out in shower gel form every single holiday season. But this is in the body conditioner. This is the Yog Nog body con conditioner. And this is nice. She's thick. She's sweet, ooey gooey. Oh, it smells so good. It's just super sweet. Like if you like the sweetness of Snow Fairy, but you like the richer sweetness of like a thick vanilla and a like an eggnoggy type scent, this would be more up your alley. This is, and it does say here, a kitchen exclusive. So this is definitely one item you will not find in store this year. So the Yognog body conditioner just says, smooth all over your wet skin after cleansing, then rinse and clean. So basically Lush says for body conditioners, they like suggest you to use them for basically while you're in the shower, you step away from the water and you slather this on your body as if you would lotion, but you have to stay out of the water for like a minute or two and then rinse yourself off. And then there is no need for you to basically put lotion on if you don't want to, and you can still smell yummy like Yognog. This is so good. The scent is so, so good. However, I like to use body conditioners for shaving my legs because this does not clog my razors and it gives me all of that lovely moisturization that I was just talking about on my legs so I don't have to put lotion on after the shower. So I basically do just use this to shave my legs. I've used body conditioners for my shaving of my legs for many, many years. Works like a charm. On to a shower gel that I wish I got a bigger size in because again, this whole box, this whole theme, the box itself, all the scents picked, right up my alley. I believe this is pronounced Tay Tay, but this is the kitchen exclusive shower gel. And this, my friends, they need to bring this out like full on all the time. This is 
gorgeous. For a person like myself who does have my showers during the morning, this is beautiful because on the outside it says a warming ginger infusion with a splash of fresh tangerine juice to brighten your day. This is a beautiful fall or autumnal type scent to have your morning showers with. And that's definitely how I am going to use this. Sadly, it's in the smallest size. Of course, last month I get bigger sizes of things that smell like flowers in October. Again, I'm not mad at the last box. So I mean, we don't know what we're gonna get, but this definitely, again, spot on for the themes. This is autumn. We need to embrace that. The spices, the beautifulness of this time of year. Tay Tay, I hope they bring back in a full size because that's only gonna last me a short while. And it's, she's so good. She's so good. It smells so delicious. Mm. And we got a perfume. I am so over the moon for this perfume. Not only is it one of my favorite scents, and we have talked about the scent already, that Lush makes, but in perfume. You guys know how much I love perfume and fragrance pretty much in any shape or form. But now I have myself a travel spray of Lush's Yognog perfume. It's a 10 mil spray bottle, perfect for travel. I'm running out of perfume because all of my perfumes are in boxes still at our house until we move in in like a few weeks still. And I'm still literally using summertime scented perfumes that I put in my bag back in July. Anyway, this is perfect. I will be using this up. This is a gorgeous scent. It really does mimic the body condition that we talked about earlier. It's very sweet. You do have to like sweet things for sure. I wouldn't say it's spicy, but it's definitely a sweet and great layering piece for that body conditioner. And then you put this perfume on, beautiful. And I am so thankful that they did not do a roller ball um, because I don't tend to use roller balls. I'm lazy and spray bottles are just super easy for me and I love them. So yay, I'm so excited to actually have some like new perfume in my collection because I haven't purchased a new perfume in a long time. I saved the messiest item for the last to show you. I've got a towel down here just so you know, because it's get messy. <laughs> this is the Golden Pear Shower Scrub. If you guys have been fans of Lush for uh, quite a few Christmases or holiday seasons, you know that the Golden Pear has come in as a soap, like a hand soap, and I've, I still actually have some of them. These are gorgeous. Look at how lustrous it is. It's, it's um, definitely messy, <laughs> but it's great. So if you're not familiar with Lush scrubs, basically take keep it away from the water when you're storing it. But as you're in the shower, you can use this and it does have exfoliation. You basically rub this on your body that you want to basically give a little scrub to and get rid of all that dead skin. This smells so bright and juicy. This smells like the ripest pear, almost as good as how the Jelly Belly pear jelly bean tastes. That makes sense? If you guys are a fan, um, it's probably my favorite Jelly Belly jelly bean is the pear scent or flavored one. This is almost right there what it would smell like if you were eating it. Oh, it's so good, you guys. A little messy. And I do have a little container that I like to put, again, away from the water in the shower, stored away from that. Uh, but anyway, this is really great. I'm very, very happy with this one as well. I'm very glad it made it into this box. That's everything, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As I said earlier in the video, if you haven't already subscribed and you like this type of content and you know I'm going to be doing one of these a month at this point, definitely subscribe down below if you haven't already. And definitely give this video a thumbs up. It does help my channel. And as always, you guys, be safe. Take care and have fun. Bye, guys.